All right, so here we are taking the uh, Saturn V model uh, off of the build build plate. There's uh, there's the there's the first piece. Bottom comes out looking pretty good. Ah, oh, man, crack the these model. This model is a hollow. Um, you can't print it with extra shells. I have to glue that back together. But uh, that'll glue. That'll glue easy. Um, these two pieces will just glue together with acetone. Be a little more careful taking these guys off as here. There we are. And a nose cone. One problem I am not having is getting stuff stuck to the build surface. Looks so good, it's really hard to get off. There we go. All right, and then these two little guys in the back are uh, spacers in case you need to tighten up the snap together model. I've been a little bit. There's So uh, here we are. Uh, this is not uh, grape upon, as you might imagine. This is actually acetone, and uh, it's great for uh, gluing together ABS models. Uh, the easiest way I can do this is to just basically hmm, can't get him inside of there. I'm just going to dip my finger in the acetone, run it around the edge of the model, put the lid back on real quick, and. Pack it together that way. All right, that's at least got it tacked together. Um, I'm going to make all this all shiny anyway, so um, wiping acetone on it with my finger is an easy way to get the thing to glue together. It'll make it all shiny. I did this with my. Uh, I printed out a. Um, Mercury capsule as well, and that will make it nice and shiny. I take it and I'll smooth it out a little bit. Yes, I'm in a well ventilated room. You can see the open windows behind me. And so there were some other uh, there were some other pieces on here that weren't quite. Uh, really welded together either. This is only three-quarter scale of the original model. Uh, that's as tall as I could print on my Thingomatic. Um, so, make sure the acetone's dry. Uh, when you do that, I mean, of course, you know, you get, actually you get a little thin film of plastic on your finger, uh, which uh, I can feel. You can't really see it, but so uh, snapping this uh, here snapping this guy together. Well, let's see which parts go where. Dun, dun, dun. Huh. I will have to look at the uh, at the model and see um, actually whether they go this way or that way. I'm a rocket geek. I ought to know that, right? Oh, well. Hey, you know, I know this is the bottom with the engine, and this is the top. This is cool because when you actually show this to people, only from here up, here to here is all the part where humans were, and that's the only part, that little conical section right there is the only part that came back to Earth. So, uh, somebody will probably lambast me in the video comments, I'm sure, because I used a pocket knife to show you something. I don't know. Get over it. It's a tool. All right, more later when I get it back together, get up into the video. There's the uh, finished Saturn V. Uh, as you can see, 
My hand span's about a foot, so uh, this is almost a foot long, which is probably about 11 inches. This is three quarter scale of the SnapFit model that's on uh, Thingiverse. And uh, I'll put the link to the Thingiverse model in the, uh, in the notes. Um, also, this was originally made, uh, I downloaded this at the recommendation of uh, Tested.com, and uh, I'll link to their video as well. Thanks. Have fun with the MakerBots. This is, this is uh, a great piece of technology.